House Solon sat down to probe several national issues that have recently affected thousands, if not millions, of Filipinos, from the Naia power outages to supply shortages of plastic cards used for driver's licenses and the downtime of digital payment app GCash. We'll have the full details in the story from Mela Las Moras. Is Naia being sabotaged? That's the question of some lawmakers at the Moto Proprio inquiry conducted by the House Committee on Transportation following the series of disturbances recorded in the airport which even happened during important holidays. Just last May 1, a power outage occurred at the Naia Terminal 3. And on January 1 this year, as the nation welcomed the new year, an air traffic fiasco also greeted airport passengers not only in Naia but in different parts of the country. Ito, thousands of travelers ang pinag-uusapan natin. Kaya tinatanong ko kung nirurule out nila dito yung possibility of sabotage. Kasi they say that lightning cannot take place twice in the same place. Meron ng May 1, meron pang January 1. Yes, uh, we also, uh, of course, we haven't ruled out anything as part of the investigation. Of course, the DOTR is leading this as part of uh, the interagency task force that was commissioned to look into all the possible root causes of the May 1 event. According to Manila International Airport Authority, for immediate solutions, they are now working on leasing more generator sets to ensure aircon operation and other critical systems will be stable during power interruption. On top of this, they also have medium-term and long-term plans of action for the betterment of service of NAIA. We would like to sincerely offer our apologies to all the passengers and stakeholders that were affected during the May 1 uh, power incident. The MAA has begun introducing programs to gradually improve the power systems of the airport complex. Meanwhile, the issue about the shortage of plastic ID cards for driver's licenses was also discussed by the lawmakers. And the main question is, when will this be resolved? The first batch of delivery will happen within 60 calendar days upon the issuance of the notice to proceed. And our target issuance of the notice to proceed will be June 26, 2023, so 60 calendar days uh, from that period, uh, Mr. Chair. On other national issues, lawmakers also wanted to investigate on the alleged unauthorized deductions in some users of digital wallet service application GCash under the House Resolution Number no. 963 of Deputy Minority Leader Bernadette Herrera. Melales Moras for the Nation.